All right, I'm just gonna do a short, quick test run video on this 15 kilowatt Powertech brand, 1800 RPM, made for continuous use. Most of the inquiries I get on these are for home standby units, but Powertech does specialize to the uh, tour bus and RV industry, so these units are a little more compact than the average diesel generator. And they're also ideal for food trucks or any kind of a mobile application that you want to put it in. This head has been reconditioned at 7,271 hours. And the t overall hours on the unit are 7,281. So that's got 10 hours on it since it was rebuilt. And uh, the motor should be good for 20 to 30,000 hours. So I doubt that anybody is going to live long enough to... Uh, certainly from a hurricane standby usage you're not going to be able to wear the motor out before we're all dead uh, I just got done installing a new radiator on it uh, I only painted it and touched it up where it needed it none of this needed to be repainted it's got a good air filter and uh, this box right here is a very fancy it's got way more features in it than you'll probably ever use it's made to work with an automatic transfer switch uh, for a house and it's got emergency low battery indicator over speed high water temperature low oil pressure shutdown the generator's got sensors on it so if it's low on um, oil pressure or it overheats it sends a signal to shut the engine down electronically to protect it so that it won't blow up so without any further ado I'll uh, let you see what it sounds like in the test run before the video gets any louder uh, Powertech by the way is based in Leesburg Florida which is kind of immaterial because it's unlikely that you would need service on it but they are the world headquarters is uh, up by the villages about a uh, half hour south of Ocala if it's necessary and they also have excellent support over the phone if you have any questions I uh, uh, just gotta turn this uh, didn't have the key switch on let me go ahead and hit it again got these power strips added on it but more than likely you won't use those you could leave them but for a home standby you would put something considerably more heavy duty than that that would allow you to wire it directly to the house this tray right here goes with it which is made to work as a slide out tray I doubt that you would use that too and of course this thing is going to need a fuel tank because there is no fuel tank that is integrated with it like some of the other generators are like this one right here that i'm getting ready to sell has a 40 gallon tank integrated into the bottom and a weatherproof enclosure because of the fact that this is a kubota and a little more desirable people are buying these from me and building their own enclosures and then picking out their own size fuel tank that they want to uh weather the storms out as opposed to only having 40 gallons on a typical unit like this uh, this unit is also going to be available for a, a little bit less money because it is uh, chinese it happens to be industrial chinese this is rated at 16k but this head is going to be at least 25k and underrated because if you look at the size of that power head compared to the size of this power head with this being 15 that one being rated at 16 
it's it just can't be the same size because there's nothing within the technology of that one that's going to make it that much smaller than this one so this one is overrated just in case uh i'm just showing it as an aside to the one that i'm featuring here so give me a call if you're interested in this i'd like to sell it this weekend or tomorrow morning when the banks open and uh, that's why i have it priced uh, aggressively and ready to sell and get on down the road to its next owner.